I'm here with filmmaker Tamara Erde. How does it feel to have your feature film, This Is My Land, here at TIFF? Uh, it's great. It's my first uh, feature film, so I'm really honored to be here in TIFF and to show it in world premiere here. Good. And the, the film is very relevant right now with what's going on in the news. Um, when you were making this film, did you ever expect it to come out at such an opportune, like such a great time? Um, actually, unfortunately, I think that uh, the reality in, in, this, uh, in the Middle East and in Israel and Palestine specifically makes these circles uh, running all the time. So I guess, sadly enough, it, it was not so surprising. Absolutely. And you focus on the education system in this film. And can you speak a little bit to the importance of education and from learning sort of both histories at a younger age to you know try to understand what's going on a little bit better? I mean, for me, education is the only way that we could think or imagine that one day this reality will change and there will be a possibility for dialogue and for, for peace. Because, I mean, these generations, the past generations, even my generation, we lived so much traumas and so much uh, uh, stigmatizations and pains that I think that uh, it will be very, very hard to, to reach a real dialogue. But I think that for the next generation, they can see things differently. So if we open up and give them the possibility to, to see the other side, to know the other side, to know its history, to know his pains and his traumas, I think that we can open a possibility for a different thing. And were you surprised when you made the film by how little um, education in Israel focused on the history of Palestine and vice versa as well? Yes, I was pretty surprised because, I mean, in my time it was like that, but I kind of expected before I, wa I went shooting, I kind of expected that since today we have so much like internet and media and YouTube and, and all that things, I expected that it will be more open and that we will learn more about the other side. But I mean, I didn't see that it changed that much, and still I saw that we are so. Uh, each side is so focused only in his own uh, histories and pains and traumas, and that the children are not more. Uh, they are not pushed to be more curious, and, and I mean, Facebook and, and all this internet stuff. They, they just serve to focus on on yourself and on your side and on your story. So. And you were in the classroom shooting uh, kids and teachers. Tell me a little bit about the equipment you used and how that helped, you know, have a less invasive process for you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I mean, it's a real challenge to film in classes uh, because Firstly, you have the kids, and kids like when they see camera usually. It, it, they, they I don't are, want TV. Yeah. <laughs> so it's it. I chose like a very like a 5D camera that is very uh, small and compact, so that they won't feel intim intimidate. Uh, I had only one sound man. That uh, it was a very hard task for him too, because classrooms and mostly in, in Palestine and Israel are very packed. Like you have uh, 30, sometimes 40 kids in the class and not very good sonorization and stuff, so it was a very challenging uh, task. <laughs> <laughs> and tell me a little bit about the process of getting interviews and, you know, sort of the censorship within the education system, how that affected uh, your subjects a little bit. Um, yeah, this was a very hard task as well, because what happens in the Palestinian side, we didn't confront many challenges. I mean, we, we requested the teachers that we have requested after the research and, and we got the permission. But on the Israeli side, what, what happened is that we had to give a list of the teachers that after research we decided to film. And of course, we chose a list of uh, both uh, left, right, and, and neutral, etc. Mm -hmm. And uh, but the Ministry of Education from the Israel side, they had they verified each of the teachers and their, and their positions. And unfortunately, they they decided to like to censor certain of them. And to so they told us from our list, okay, you can only film these ones, but not these ones. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's a sh it was a very shame, I think, because uh, we would have liked to have more spectrum of opinions from the Israeli side as well. Mm -hmm. And many of the teachers that are in your film, I noticed, are very dynamic and wonderful uh, teachers taking their kids outside. And, you know, how did you find such wonderful teachers? I mean, I had a handful that were that good, but it, it was so interesting to see. Yeah, I, I mean, what I wanted to show in the film also is that teachers can do it, in, it differently than what they are told to, than what the ministry is telling them, than the curriculum, etc. So I was looking for teachers that still, of course, represent the reality and what is going on around them, but, but try to show us that there is another way if we will let them do that. Mm -hmm. So, okay. 
And how are you hoping that audiences respond to the film and, and what do you hope that they take away from it? I think that the, the main message of the film is that we should always have doubts and questions what we are told, never to accept things as, as we get them. And I think this is also the main role of education. It's not just to teach us uh, facts and, and what we think, but also to open our cu curiosity to, to make us more critical citizens. And I think that's important for all over the world. I mean, in Israel and Palestine, it's very present and it, everything is so explosive. So of course, it's in higher dose, but I think it's true. Like these questions about education and these problematics of education can be true to anywhere in the world. So. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on you and This Is My Land and your other projects as well online? Yeah, so I have uh, my website. It's uh, www.tamaraerde.com. Mm -hmm. And so there, there is a lot of information about my work. I do both uh, fiction and documentaries. And there is also a website of the film, uh, This Is My Land, point uh, fr. So. Great. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations on a powerful film and have a great time at TIFF. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for KD Chats at Touchwood PR in downtown Toronto.